Hey, what is going on guys? It is Jacob back again with another GTA Online modding video and today I'm going to be going over some new tips for new modders in the GTA Online community. Whether you are new from the Epic Games free account or if you just want to get started modding in general. Now keep in mind I have modded for about 8 months now on a um, main account that I have, Impulse VIP. That's the paid mod menu I use as a menu I suggest if you do want to get one. Um, and yeah, I haven't been banned on that account over 8 months. I have been recently banned on a free menu account, on my free Epic Games account. So I know the rights and the wrongs of course of modding and how to not get banned. And I'm going to explain some, uh, of course some goods and bads. And uh, yeah, if you guys do end up enjoying today's video, please remember to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. If you want to see more of the stuff you're seeing in the gameplay in the background here, you can go check out the Modern Life playlist in my channel for more funny GTA Online modding content. It is, uh, believe me, it'll be worth it. And uh, of course, drop a like, subscribe, and let's get into tip number one. Tip number one would have to be don't do recoveries through money don't use money recoveries at all because uh right now the anti-cheat for gta was updated around a month ago and since then uh recoveries have been very detectable um whether you know it'll be fixed or not like for example impulse vip recovery is currently disabled right now because you know they're working on a uh, patch to fix it impulse did come out and did explain a little bit of what's going on and how they're doing so far so if you guys want me to explain that maybe i'll do it in a future video future modern life or something like that um for the recovery and why they're disabled and how long it's gonna take i read a little bit of uh the little paragraph they said in their um website but if you want me to guys if you guys want me to go over that of course i will go over that in a future video just let me know down below but overall on any menu even some good paid menus like paragon and stuff like that their their recoveries are disabled including impulse and stuff like that so you don't want to be doing any money drops for your friends or yourself right now because uh god knows when they will uh you know have to recoveries back or whether gta is doing an update or something because usually they'll update their anti-cheat when they're doing an update soon so maybe they want to get all the modders and cheaters out of here or maybe they just did it to prepare for the epic games free <laughs> game launch or something like that i'm not sure you know it could be a thousand different things those are just my little guesses right there tip number two would definitely be do not use a free menu now recently i did get banned using free menus um i was using loy and terra now they say oh you know it's not undetected it's undetected it's undetected it's not detected there are some free menus out there that are apparently have been working for people for years or months but most people it'll you know get them banned whether they're being stupid stupid with it or not uh you know you can always get banned with a free menu you can always get banned with a paid menu it's a big risk that you have to take with a free menu it's a littler risk that you'll have to take with a paid menu of course i've been modding with impulse vip for about eight months now i've added hundreds of millions of dollars and i've been perfectly fine now recently with the disabled recoveries um you know i can't really do any of the dangerous or risky stuff so impulse is pretty much 100 percent safe um you know don't quote me on it if you get banned with impulse it's not my problem <laughs> but uh, uh over the past eight months i haven't been banned with impulse but with a free menu i have been banned very recently in fact so uh stay away from free menus and yeah just stay away from free menus simple tip number three would have to be don't do any major trolling and or griefing now if you're free or you know a new player um into gt online and you get a free mod menu or you know a brand new paid mod menu one of the first things you might want to do is try out some of the trolling and griefing options now with impulse vip if you guys have seen from my episodes of modern life i absolutely love using trolling and griefing options i think they're the most fun and the funniest things you can do get some funny reactions and stuff for my content creation for the channel you know but uh you know they're very very dangerous especially if you have a free menu or a paid menu that maybe isn't impulse vip i know impulse vip does block all reports so if you do get reported enough on a free or maybe some other paid mom menu you're gonna get reported enough and you're gonna get banned of course so be, be, be very, very careful trolling and or griefing other online players because other than, you know, dropping yourself billions and billions of dollars, you know, the next big nightmare for, you know, Rockstar is if you're interrupting other people's, you know, gameplay experience, ruining it for them. 
that is of course when people start reporting you and you know you'll get reported enough and then you will get banned and you know that could happen with a paid or free menu now i know trolling and griefing options like i said are really fun but you also have to be very very careful with them this next tip kind of goes back to recovery now adding rp or levels is one of the most dangerous things you can also do it's probably right behind money no keep in mind this is not in chronological order <laughs> you can pretty much fall all these and you will probably be okay now adding levels i recently did with a free menu i use it with loy i added 200 levels without adding any time played or anything like that so of course you know adding level 200 this kid has only like an hour played he can't that's not possible so rockstar zany cheat is gonna you know see that and of course they're just gonna get me with the permanent <laughs> ban which did happen on my free epic games account because I, I was just being you know stupid with it i knew it was a free account so i kind of just let it let it all hang out man so yeah i had fun on my free epic games account though um you can see those videos of some of the um more viewed videos on my channel it might have been how you found me but uh yeah those um adding levels is another very dangerous thing especially with you know rockstar's anti-cheat updated that is one of the more detectable options along with money that can get you easily banned and easily detected with no matter what menu you're using now of course with impulse vip that option is disabled so i'm pretty much safe not that i i um, was gonna add a bunch of levels because i'm i just added like myself to level two three hundred or something with impulse vip haven't been banned since i did that a few months ago and i've been perfectly fine now, if you want to get yourself a good paid menu, sometimes people will be desperate enough to get themselves a free cracked version. Now, sounds amazing and all, but uh, this was more of a problem back a couple months ago in the beginning of April, end of March. Uh, there was a free impulse cracked key going around and people were using it. And it was really dangerous because it was a, actually a key logger. So tip number five, do not use cracked paid menus because you never know what is going to be on that thing whether your you know virus protection says it's safe or not or you know whether the person making the video or whatever says it's safe or not you never know what's on it because apparently when impulse cracked vip got out it was a staff version and you know you're not supposed to get the staff version if you're a you know just a regular user and it was um it was a key logger so if you did end up having it at one point um you know i just get it off your computer i don't really know how all that stuff works but yeah it was very unsafe so do not use any paid cracked menus <laughs> just trust me that now my last tip for the video will have to be be safe um while modding because if you are being a complete dick or doing a lot of trolling and grieving which you know that could be your cup of tea that could be the way you get off you know that's not my problem but um if you're gonna do those kind of things you're also gonna piss off some other people now you could be pissing off a little level two or something a brand new player and it's probably not a modder or isn't a modder at all they could have a friend that is a modder that could say hey you know you're bullying my friend i'm gonna snatch your ip so within protections you want to use protections protections are very important um you could either just not be a dick or just use these protections now i've gotten ddos multiple times um because i haven't been using my ip spoofer uh through impulse vip but when i do use my ip spoofer usually i'm okay and i haven't been ddos while using my ip spoofer so um if you don't want your personal information to get out there you know it goes back to the key logger um cracked impulse versions you know you don't want to use any cracked paid menus or any cracked free menus even you know don't take any shortcuts with modding because you know it's it could be very dangerous it could be very safe you know uh but just be very very careful if you're doing trolling or griefing because your personal information you know could get out there and you know it could get your ip snatched and get ddos and all that kind of stuff which is not fun at all believe me i had a ddos problem back a few months ago now um you know but i got it all fixed and i think i'm pretty safe now but you know i don't want to jinx anything you know yeah don't want to jinx anything so those were my six tips on how to not get banned modding in gta online and some stuff to consider uh yeah those are my six tips whether you're a free epic games account member 
or you know you've been playing gta for a while now or you just got a pc yada 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 there's plenty of reasons why you want to start modding gta online my personal reason was i got a pc and i played gta 5 and ps4 for at the time it was six years so i got pretty bored of that i still play frequently though on ps4 but i mostly play on pc now because i can have a lot more fun with a lot more options of course through modding and you know i don't blame you guys for you know going out and modding just uh be careful and luckily i gave you guys these six tips to start out with so uh yeah thanks again for watching please remember to drop a like subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see y'all in the next one peace